Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 8.2, Parabolas. Some uh, challenging material today. <clears throat> you have to get good at it and then practice it, and then it's not too bad, but take a little time. Have we played with parabolas before? Yeah, in our quadratics unit. We're just going to look at them completely differently. Um, it's a conic section because if you take two cones sitting on top of each other and you just chop through the cone like that, you will create a parabola. Uh, it's a weird thing, but you can chop the cone and make a circle, chop it and make a hyperbola, chop it and make a ellipse. So they call them conic sections, but don't worry about it. So how would we graph this? Uh, let's put it in vertex form. I'm going to be doing these fairly quickly. I will show all the work, but I'm not going to go through how I got there in great detail. Uh, if you have any questions, go back and look at <clears throat> six, six, something like that. How to complete the square and put things in vertex form. Remember, this is minus 48 because it's actually 3 times 16 being added. So now it's in vertex form. The vertex is negative 4, comma 2. And it goes up. Um, it hits up here at 50, so it's going to go up very, very quickly. So there it is, graphed. And now we talk about other things that are on there. Uh, it has a focus. Focus goes right here, ish, depending. It has a directrix. Directrix is a line that goes right here. And it has a lattice rectum, which is the width of the parabola right across the focus. So this distance from here to here. And I will give you a better one to show. What you need to know is right below the distance from the vertex to the focus. Is 1 over 4a. And a, of course, is the value right out front. So you really only need to know that. <clears throat> it's also the dif distance from the vertex to the directrix. And just so we're clear, imagine you have a parabola, you have a vertex here and a focus here, and you have a directrix here. From the focus to the parabola and then down at a 90 degree angle, these distances are always the same. They're not drawn the same here, but that is the way a parabola is defined. These two distances will always be equivalent. So that's how a directrix and a focus are located, and that's how a parabola is defined. It's nice to know that, really not essential. So for the focus above, we had an A value of 3, so the distance to the focus is 1 over 4 times 3 is 1 twelfth. So if our vertex was at negative 4, 2, the focus is up a little bit at negative 4, comma, 2 and 1 twelfth. The directrix is down a little bit at y equals 1 and 11 twelfths. The numbers are so small that it looks silly, so we're going to give you an example where it's much bigger. And the lattice rectum is just 1 over a, which is 1 third. Again, a really small number, almost impossible to see when you're graphing. 
So let's just blast out problems. You're going to want to use the pause button because I'm going to go through these very, very quickly. Just in the interest of time. Vertex at 3.6. goes up, A equals 1 eighth, the distance to the focus, 1 over 4 times 1 eighth, a lot of people struggle with that algebra, that's 2, since I know it kind of goes up, you go up 2 to get there, you go down 2 to get to the directrix, so you got a focus here, a vertex here, directrix here. So if the focus is 2 up, it's at 3 comma 8. If the directrix is 2 down, it's at y equals 4. And the lattice rectum, which I'm going to write in as LR from here on out, is 1 over 1 eighth is 8 and this is the everybody can handle most of this this is a part where people get confused so you go to the focus and you go 1 2 3 4 over to the right because the whole thing is 8 and 4 over to the left and that shows you how you can graph it that's it you've done the whole problem tricky but doable now you may not have realized, but you can always turn a parabola sideways. And this one is turned sideways. So the vertex is flipped, negative 3 comma negative 2. This is the x value now. And since this is next to the y, it's the y value now. So we're looking at negative 3, negative 2. And it's going to go in a positive direction up there somewhere. And I need that to do all this work. Distance to focus. 1 over 4 times 1 fourth. 1. Therefore, the focus is 1 over. So that's now negative 2, negative 2. The directrix will be 1 on the other side. So that's x equals negative 4. Lattice rectum is 1 over 1 fourth is 4. Let's go up and down 2 from the focus. Something like that. Doable, but again, there's a lot of details, a lot to remember. Now, a tricky one, we have to manipulate a little bit. 4x equals 4x minus y squared equals 2y plus 13. 4x equals y squared plus 2y. Complete the square, plus 1, minus 1, divide everything by 4, x equals 1 fourth, y plus 1 squared, this was 12, divided by 4 is 3, so it's sideways again, vertex is at 3 comma negative 1, it's going to go up, The distance to the focus, well, we just did this, 1 over 4 times 1 fourth is 1. Therefore, the directrix is down here at x equals 2. And the lattice rectum is 1 over 1 fourth is 4. So we're going to go up 2 and down 2 from the focus. <coughs> Graft. 
tricky when it's negative people forget it goes the other way or it goes down or whatever so you have to keep all these things in mind and then quite honestly my favorite kind of problem because we don't have to do all that really heavy duty work we just do a quick sketch directrix focus so it looks like it's going to be something like this this is at 3 comma 8 this is at y equals 4 so my vertex has to be at 3 comma 6 which gives me most of my equation I have to find the a value this distance here is 2 so 1 over 4a equals 2 I'll move the a up and the 2 down I'll just cross multiply most people can handle that 8a equals 1a equals 1 eighth so the equation is y equals because it goes up and down not left and right 1 eighth x minus 3 squared plus 8 I like that problem so parabola is very tricky stuff practice 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 good luck